on Sunrise. So glad you're with us. Ben Hill here alongside my buddy Carlos Diaz. And there are so many talks about Harry across <laughs> England. It can mean one of two things, Carlos, either Prince Harry or the other Harry. Of which whose name I'm afraid to say. Harry Potter. The name you can say. There we go. But here's the thing. People don't realize the first Harry Potter book came out more than 20 years ago. So all those eight-year-olds who are reading that book, they're now 28. So two guys here in England had the bright idea, why don't we come up with a pub, a bar, that celebrates all three things wizardry? I got a chance to visit that bar. It's been open for two months, and it's already doing great business. Watch. So if you had to describe what the cauldron is... Magical drunken mess. Brits have literally been lining up around the block to get into London's newest magical pub, The Cauldron. We're using science and technology to make magic real. Allow me to translate for you non-wizards. When you walk into The Cauldron, you get fitted with a cloak, handed an authentic wooden magic wand. Careful, you're going to hurt someone. Okay, sorry, sorry. I don't know the power of my own wand. The wand allows you to use magic to conjure up delicious brews. Now that's a good spell. And to mix magical adult potions. We've got a drink that literally sets on fire and explodes. And although the owners make it abundantly clear that this pub has absolutely no affiliation with the Harry Potter books or movies, the patrons don't seem to listen. They show up because this person here is Harry Potter obsessed. She's seen every film. She's read every book about six times. More than six times. That's right. Bachelorette parties, or as they're called in England, a hen party, are very popular at the Cauldron. Is this the perfect hen's party for you then? It's amazing. Yes. Just don't mess up the proper name of the bride-to-be. Have you felt like you are a wizard on this day? A witch, not a wizard. Oh, I'm so... <laughs> oh. So, Paul, aside, England's other big wedding this week has brought even more wizards and witches to the cauldron. For the world wedding, we've actually opened up extra sessions because we've had a lot of people demanding that they want to come in on that week. And we're also launching an exclusive love potion for just that weekend. So thank you so much for showing us the cauldron. No problem, my friend. I'll show myself out. I knew he was going to do that. Like I said, there is no official legal affiliation to Harry Potter. Right. Got to tag it like that. <laughs> but it's been so popular. They've only been open for two months. So popular, they're already talking about moving it to the United States. They might be coming know. to the States with the cauldron. So that is some pretty cool news. We have cocktails on fire, people disappearing. You never know what's going to happen there, right? <laughs> it was amazing. It was a fun day. <laughs> All right, Emory.